G'day folks. Well, couldn't take the train, had to take a bus. Sydney to Melbourne. How long? 10, 11, 12 hours. We'll see how we go. Let's do it. Time is nearly seven o'clock. It's me again. Andy from Andy Sport Journey today. Well, we have a long day ahead of us, you and I, because we are heading to Melbourne. We're supposed to be taking the train. But guess what? We ain't, we're taking a bus. It's like a tease, really. I'm here at the train station. A beautiful train station. Dreaming of trains. But I have to take a bus. Okay, so, uh, checking services done. This is our beast, all the way to Melbourne. Right, because three, right. Yeah. If you're going to drink coffee and eat on my bus, I'll ask you please to keep your garbage to a minimum. Yeah. Where are you off now? Uh, Melbourne, Southern Cross. Right. Awesome, thanks, mate. Okay, we're on the bus, we're all set to go. Still half an hour till we depart. It's a decent bus actually. Plenty of leg room. Uh, so what's happened is, uh, uh, about two weeks ago, I got a text from New South Wales Train Link, and they said that due to uh, track works in Melbourne, on the Metro line, that from Albury to Melbourne would be, that's about the last four hours of the trip, would be my bus. So I was pretty disappointed. But then I arrived in Sydney on Monday, two days ago, and I got an SMS pretty much as soon as I got off the plane saying the whole journey was now on coach. Now that's because of the industrial action here. And so uh, a lot of trains are gonna be canceled today. So anyway, I'm on a bus the whole journey. Um, to be honest, I probably would have preferred to just fly back. But, you know, you can only do what you can only do and you can't predict these things, I guess. So, welcome to the 11 hours on the bus. The train was due to take about 11 hours. The total distance is around about, according to Google, 872, 873 kilometers. So, um, anyway. Uh, they were claiming yesterday at the office that the bus would take less time, so we will see. Slow. The 
outskirts of, of uh, Sydney in a place called Campbelltown right now. I think we're going through Albury, so... So we have stopped, it's the first stop here, Campbelltown. Didn't announce it, didn't even tell us where we're going to stop on the journey down to Melbourne, so... kilometers from our destination uh, and it's predicting that we get in just after five but we're gonna have a couple of stops and this is a bus it won't go as fast as it thinks but hopefully we will make it by 6 30 with a bit of luck this is uh, the m31 the Hume freeway and basically we're on this uh, until we hit sort of the outskirts of Melbourne Wow the weather has changed Look at that, misty. Uh, this is basically an 11.30 lunch break uh, because the next uh, break apparently is not for like four hours. I'm going to see what there is. Uh, obviously, you know, most countries have these sort of stops for the buses and also for the, uh, the people who are driving to refuel and all that jazz. It doesn't matter where you are in this country, if there is a bus stop, you'll find a McDonald's. <clears throat> a half hour break is never as long as you think it is. Not once you use the toilet and water food, then you eat your food. All of a sudden, I have to rush back to the bus. We are, according to Google, we are 599 kilometres from our destination, and our travel time will be 5 hours and 54 minutes. But it won't be, it'll be much longer than that. We're also going to have a half hour stop. So, uh, considering we're leaving in about eight minutes, which is 12 o'clock, if we do manage to get in by 6.30, I think we'll be doing very well. Because uh, no way is the bus gonna average 100k an hour. Anyway, back to the road. I've been informed that this is Juni. I just figured because it was so big it was probably Wagga Wagga, but it's Juni. Uh, so we're getting along and we took a lot of people on a Kuta Mantra and so the luxury of two seats is gone, but uh, we're getting there, I guess, eventually. Stopped here in Wagga Wagga, and um, a couple of people have got off. It's warming up, and um, well, it's, it's about uh, ten to three. And according to my Google, it says four hours forty-two, and we have four hundred and fifty-three k yet to go. which is on the border, just before the border. 
Good day, Victoria. At 25 past four, and here we are at Albury Station. Not much are going on here. We're about three and a half hours away, I'd say, 8 to 8.30 for our arrival. Folks, we are back in Victoria. We just crossed the Murray there. We are back in Victoria. 322 k's to go. Well, here we are at a United petrol station. Time for a stretch of the legs. It's a case of the driver has to have a break. But stretching my legs uh, is something I need to do too. There you go, there's the bus. Sunshine tours or buses or I don't know. But uh, obviously, you know, when they have to cancel the train, the uh, New South Wales train link organises a um, replacement service via whatever bus companies they can and um, I've got to say sitting with two people there is really really cramped. Here we are at a place called Pie Face which you'll find around this country and I'll probably just grab something to eat because otherwise it'll be nada because I presume that from here on in the last sort of three and a half hours it's uh, no, no more stops it's the last stop. So you've got a choice of sandwiches there's a lot of egg in there Nuts and pastries and uh, oh look you can have a toasty or pies and pasties here will be the classic mince or you've got uh, butter chicken steak and mushroom tenderi vegetable there you go a bit of an eating area not a lot of stuff here things over there in the far anyway let's grab something oh, here we go. that's a wing ding it's a chicken wing fried and a good old sausage roll. Okay, we've been told between 8 and 8.15, hopefully, fingers crossed, depending on the traffic. So, uh, Melbourne is the next and final stop of this journey. Outside, the sun is setting over Victoria. And we're on the Hume Highway slash Freeway, pretty much all the way home. Well, folks, I'm actually doing a loo review in the bus, and there it is. We're half an hour from Melbourne. I mean, it's not completely destroyed. There's me with my stupid glasses on. It's got a little heater, the soap. Yeah, here we go. Not too bad, actually, for a bus toilet. After um, well, let's see. It's been 12 hours. 12 freaking hours in a bus. Ladies and gentlemen, we have finally arrived at Southern Cross. We apologize for any, any inconvenience that you have suffered during the day. And um, before disembarking, please make sure that you have all your personal belongings. Any items of value that you leave behind, you'll be able to retrieve at the uh, Lost and Found Department or otherwise at eBay, depending on how valuable they are. folks <laughs> 12 and a half hours and a bit more since we left here I am at Southern Cross Station back in Melbourne um, of the three modes of transport that are commonly taken plane train and bus bus is my 18th favorite and um, it didn't improve <laughs> that ranking didn't improve today but hey I'm here uh, just a tad under two hours later than I would have been 
had I taken a train all the way. And um, there's the bus behind me, everyone getting their bag, I better get mine. So thank you for joining me, as always, take care wherever you are in the world. <coughs> if you're travelling regionally, it's train or probably preferably plane in this country because buses in general are just not a lot of fun and 12 and a half hours on a bus is a lot of not a lot of fun. As I've already said, thanks for joining me. Take care wherever you are in the world. May the journey never end.